Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So it's a trip down memory lane today for me and um, a little bit of reminiscing, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, I've finally got hold of a Thundershot. Um, since I started this channel up, I really, I, I always wanted to do a Thundershot, but I had to find an original. I didn't want a Riri. Even a lot of Riri's are fantastic. Um, I just wanted an original. So this is um, Tamiya number 58067. So it's number 67 from the first 100. So it's quite an early car. Um, it was released in November 1987. Now, here's a reminiscing bit. This car is super special to me. Now, we all have our favourites, and we all have our favourites for different reasons. My number one favourite is the Avante, um, just because of how it was released back in the day, and it, just, it was just this massive thing. Um, but that was unaffordable. Um, this wasn't so as i say this came out in november uh, 1987 um a few months before that i was running round with i don't even know what you'd call it it was supposed to be a ford ranger um with it and sort of half an srb but it was glued together it had epoxy resin all over it, it had aluminium bits it had wood bits on it my, my dad was a an old school modeler who built balsa wood model airplanes and boats and um, he just bodged his car up for me and I loved it don't get me wrong it was phenomenal um, but with Christmas coming up I'd, I'd, I'd told my mum and dad I really want a, a brand new Tamiya and obviously I'd never built one from scratch um, so as I say, my, my plan was, this was a couple of months before November, I think my plan was it was going to be something like a hot shot, because that was kind of the ultimate four-wheel drive thereabouts. Hot shot 2 may have been out by then, I'm not sure, but it was probably going to be a hot shot. I really wanted a big wig, but that was just too expensive. Uh, and then in November, lo and behold, the Tamiya released the Thunder shot on this sort of brand new chassis. Everything was pretty much brand new on it. And it's just it just looked phenomenal. Um, so as I say, it was um, my mum and dad agreed we can get this for Christmas. And I, I'll, I, this is my reminiscing bit, so I apologise, but I'll never forget the excitement of going. You guys in the UK will definitely know Otley Model Sport, huge model shop, been around forever. Um, and it was I, I said to my dad was, we were going to drive there, and I asked my dad could we go on the bus. I don't know, 87, I should have worked out how old I was, 10, 11 maybe. Um, so me and my dad went on this trip, um, two buses to Otley from Bradford somewhere. And uh, I'll never forget the anticipation and excitement of knowing I was going to go into Watley Model Sport and buy this huge Tamiya Thundershot brand new in box. It was really cool. Um, you have to forgive me, I mean, it just it was just really good memories. Um, and obviously it was the very first kit I built, um, opened it Christmas morning just in awe of it and then I think I was gone for probably two days in my bedroom just putting it all together and what have you. Um, and I ran that car for a long time. Um, I actually went to the, not straight away, but I eventually bought the Twin Shock CVA conversion kit for it because the standards are mono shock. And um, I always remember me and my one of my best mates, Paul. Um, we used to, used to race around outside his house, and we, you know, you jump it off curbs. And this was the kind of first semi car where you could actually see the shocks working as it jumped off a curb. Happy days. Really, I'm, that was only five forty and Nim. Uh, sorry, Nikad back then. Damn, feel old. So through that, I have actually I actually raced it at just a local Sunday morning race meeting on in a school yard on grass and um, it did all right I've, I've got three or four trophies somewhere in fact no I haven't I, I gave them to John at Iconic RC for some of his events um, but yeah this thing was racing against Optima mids and pros and there were some other Tamiya's there but uh, it did all right obviously it was more fun it wasn't serious racing um, but I do remember one occasion where I got hold of a Kyosho modified motor those spa motors I think it was the two, Spa 240, which at the time I believe was Kayosho's hottest brush motor. Yeah, 240, because the 240 meant for a four minute race. 
and uh, we banged it in the thunder shot and uh, I got telling off for in a modified in my class I shouldn't have done it but it absolutely wiped the floor with like Optima Pros and stuff on the straight it was like lightning anyway so I finally got hold of um, 101 now obviously you you clicked on the thumbnail expecting to see a thunder shot done well no this is the one I've got um, completely original and completely intact the A4 part is even not broken and it's been it's been heavily used it's got the wrong it's got the gold option wheels on the back um, it's got some spurious tires on that I've never seen before with this pattern um, fitted and it's got the wrong tires fitted on it's got the spikes that come on the Avante and the like super shot rears which don't fit these wheels so you, you'd struggle to use them anyway let's have a, a close look at the car but before we do that so as I say original comes with a mint original manual which is super cool uh, and the reason I really went for this one is because it came with the original 87 decals unopened it's still got the Tamiya sellotape on it they're mega rare you know I mean I would have been happy to use reproduction um, but the fact that it had these and it was a good price so well chuffed with that I got the um, manual speed controller with it but we probably won't be using it it's got an electronic speed controller in that I'll show you and it also came with these real vintage Palmer spiked rubber tyres Palmer do you remember them that's a blast from the past that man um, and these are the, the, the spikes these look identical to the Tamiya spikes like go on the Avante the rears the wide ones um, but obviously they've got no tyre wall markings so they're pretty cool, we won't be using them. Um, so just before we have a close look at the car, as soon as I'd, I'd, I'd sent the money for this car, because I've got it for, I got the car from Kijiji in Canada. Kijiji is like a website. Um, so I ordered a bit straight away, so I got straight on the Tony's Tamiya parts, and I've got um, brand new wheels and tires coming from for it. Um, and then I was searching, because this needs a battery, the battery clamps that twist either side. And there was none on eBay, I was gutted. So as I put an order into Tony's Tamiya parts, I just asked them, I don't suppose you've got any? So I've got a pair on my desk, so he's thrown them in as well. So they're on the way. Um, I've ordered full bearing set for it. Now this is fully ball race, but I'm gonna, this is gonna be a complete, every, every screw and bolt's coming out. Um, so I've ordered a full bearing set for it. And I've also ordered the metal plate for the A5. If you've not seen that before, when that comes, I'll show you. It's a really cool thing. Even if your plastic A5 bit's broken, you just pull the two long screws out, put the metal plate over, and then you screws through. Um, and then the screws are pivoting on the metal. Um, it's really cool. Do I would like a new bumper. It's got a slight crack underneath, but I think they're about seven. There's one on eBay, and it's about $70, and it's just too much for a bumper, and it's not in that bad condition. So I'm really rattled on. If you're still with me, thank you, I appreciate it. Let's have a closer look at well, that. As you can see, it needs some work, but um, overall it's in great shape. So as I say, we're gonna get a new shell for it. I'm looking for an original, uh, and if I can't find one, um, but I am gonna try my hardest, then we'll go reproduction. Um, so it comes, it's got the original body tray on it, which is awesome. If we just whiz that out, you can see inside. Just pick this camera up. So as you can see, it's got the old um, Futaba MC112B Speedo. <laughs> there it is, very old Tom. I will use that if it's working. Um, as I say, this has already had the um, dual shock CVA conversion fitted and it's still got the sway bar intact from the original, so that's awesome. It's absolutely cacked in grime. It's got a an old, um, turn it around, Arc brush motor. That's pretty rare. Um, 727 but uh, I don't know what state it'll be in we'll obviously whiz it out and we'll clean it up um, best we can and we may use it that's the crack in the bumper I was talking about which is a little bit unfortunate but it's really not the end of the world um, as I say I want to keep this as original as possible it's got a steering servo fitted um, and I'll say overall it's, it seems pretty smooth um, it, the, the the wheel hubs are all better bearings but obviously I won't know what the gearboxes are until I get into it I'm just assuming they are and just check out that as I say this manual it's got some marks on it but it's 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 almost mint and then as I say the decals you can see the old Tamiya tape still intact which is absolutely awesome 
they do some money on their own, to be to be honest. So there we have it. I'm so chuffed I've got it. I know I say that about all to me, but when something actually sort of means something within your heart, as it were, you know, this, this car certainly does. Um, so as I say, this is going to be um, a series of re restoration videos, and I know how this will look when it's finished, and it's just going to be absolute, absolutely phenomenal. Um, so just just while we're on this, and this will tell me how many of you watch this video to this, in the comments below, just leave what your first Tamiya car is. Not what your favourite is or anything, but this, or, or what the special one to you is, like this is to me. My Avant is my favourite, but this is, a, this is a very special one. Leave it in the comments below, and let's uh, see what kind of um, vary we get in the Tamiya name. Anyway, I've rattled on, so I apologise. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. As always, it's really appreciated. And if you are new to this channel, please uh, hit that subscribe button. And most of all, hit that notification button for our weekly videos. And as always, guys, happy assing. <laughs>